my friends! Today is going to be the announcement for the Summer Scare Readathon 2022. If you don't know, I am obsessed with Halloween. I won't say I'm a Halloween queen because there are definitely way more Halloween queens out there than myself, such as Jade the Libra. If you haven't checked out her channel, you definitely should. I'll link it down below. If you are a Halloween fan, it is a great place to be. Um, however, I love to read especially mid-grade spooky, but uh, YA spooky has been really hitting for me lately, and I also am learning to like adult mystery thrillers, which is not something I had really ever read before the past few years. So I created this readathon in 2020, so this will be our third year, and I do it in the summer. Typically it's like a for my birthday thing, but my birthday's in June and there's a lot of other things going on in June, so I just try to try to schedule it somewhere in the summer. Uh, because it's a summer scare readathon, it would be weird to do it another time of the year. So today we're going to talk about the announcement, the dates, and what the prompts are, and then I believe next Tuesday my TBR will be live. Uh, I will also be linking in the description box down below a bookshelf that I have made on Goodreads of some of my favorite spooky books. So if you need help like picking out different books, maybe you don't read a lot of spooky and you need some places to start, I'll be linking a bookshelf that has all of my favorite spooky books on it. I was going to do like a spooky books video, but your girl ain't got the time. So Goodreads bookshelf it is this year. Maybe next year or maybe when I get to the 31 books of Halloween we can do that. First let's talk about dates. Also Merlin is laying on the desk in front of me so if a cat pops up out of nowhere you've been warned. So the dates are going to be August 8th through the 14th. I believe that's a Monday through a Sunday. Um, I will be hosting some live streams during that time. I don't know exactly when but I definitely know I will be hosting some live streams during that week and there will be in the description box down below a link to all of like the templates that you can use for Instagram as far as like your TBR or the prompts that you're using or wrap ups or whatever. I have a few templates and those will be linked down below as well. So let's start with our prompts. The first is a book with green on the cover. It can be all green, it can be a speck of green, doesn't matter to me, green on the cover. Next is a mid-grade. Again, I love mid-grade spooky, so I want to force you all to read some mid-grade books as well. It doesn't have to be spooky, and again, none of these books actually have to be scary, but, you know, try to pick something that is either scary or along the theme, if you will. The third prompt is a horror or thriller novel. The fourth prompt is a book under 200 pages. This is one that we always have. Another that we see every round is a book that is diverse to you. So anything that is outside of your identity, whether it is race, religion, sexual orientation, whatever the case may be, anything that is outside of your norm, consider that diverse. A book with moon and or stars on the cover. A book with a spooky word in the title. Uh, spooky words can be like dark, damp, blood, ghost, pickle. You know, if you're afraid of pickles. Whatever. A spooky word. Our next prompt is a book about vampires. It could be scary vampires. It could be happy vampires. Just vampires. And the last is a book that is outside of your comfort zone. So that could be a genre you don't normally read um, because you're not really comfortable reading it or a style of book. So whether it's audiobook, ebook, whatever, something that you're not used to reading because it's uncomfortable for you. Uh, reading about a topic you wouldn't normally read about, whatever the case may be something that is outside of your comfort zone, something really big. So there are nine prompts and I do not recommend that you read nine books in a week. What I do recommend is that you either A, try to hit as many prompts as possible uh, using one book for each or you can triple up on prompts. You can quadruple up, I don't really care. Uh, hit as many prompts as you can with as few books as you can. Uh, you know, like make a challenge out of it. Do it however works best for you. 
Um, I will be posting things on Instagram pretty regularly throughout the week if I can because have you met me my life is crazy and I would forever love and appreciate it if you decide to do a TBR on YouTube or on Instagram if you would tag me in that so I can check it out I would be very excited to do that so those are my nine prompts green on the cover mid-grade horror thriller under 200 pages diverse to you moon and or stars on the cover spooky word and title about vampires outside of your comfort zone nine prompts and again the dates are august 8th through the 14th and there will be some live shows in that time frame so that's going to be it for me today don't forget to check out all the links down below there's going to be a whole bunch of information for you down there as well I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!